30, the meeting for January 17th, 2023 is open. <clears throat> and I uh, entertain a motion to approve the minutes for December 20th, 2022. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, the first up is new public hearing, which I'll read in for 102 West Center Street. Under the Wetlands Protection Act, Chapter 131, Section 40, MGL has amended the West Bridgewater Wetlands Protection Bylaw and Rules and Regulations and the West Bridgewater Comprehensive Stormwater Management Regulations. The Conservation Commission will hold a public hearing on January 17, 2023 at 6.30 p.m. in the McDonald Brown Conference Room, 65 North Main Street, on a notice of intent at 102 West Center Street for proposed grading and site work associated with downtown just district development. Okay, you're all set. All right. Good evening, everyone. My name is David Clinton, College Engineering. Uh, first, I'd like to give the cards to Tim. Thank you. Um, now, just a little history on this one. Um, uh, Tom Kennedy came in and he got approvals for um, building this building here and doing a garage here with a uh, office space over. And he got the building done and he had it all landscaped and it was all green and, and, and grass and stabilized and his notice of intent ran out. Uh, it had been over three years and he didn't go for an extension. So that brings us, he still liked to build a garage and that brings us to this point here where we're just going to um, build a garage in this area and I'll show you exactly where that is. It will be completely outside the 50 foot buffer. Um, he did get a, uh, a certificate of compliance for this portion of the site. Uh, you can go out there, it's, it's nicely stoned and, and, and all the grass is stabilized. And he's got his post up all the way along here. Uh, he hasn't mowed or touched any of that area in that, in that easement area. So because the, um, because the order conditions ran out, we filed for the CCO we, and you guys granted that and, and then um, we just filed for a new NOI. Uh, it is the exact same project. Uh, it was uh, uh, approved under a modification plan. And so th we did get a uh, DPW or DEP number, and they had no comment on the project. Um, what we're propo proposing to do is put a sill fence here at the existing corner and run it outside the 50 around the limit of work up to the road, and then just construct the building and the parking. Uh, the building roof area is drained into this underground infiltration system, and that was already sized for that building. So that was all set. And uh, under John Delano's suggestion, all the parking is running into a stone trench that surrounds the parking area. Um, this uh, will not increase it by any means any runoff, any increase in runoff out into the wetlands. It's going to be actually less. I did provide the NOI and a little bit of a drainage uh, calculation just to show you that nothing here is going to affect the wetland area. Okay. So and that's basically that building. That's it's not attached to the. No, this will be thirty feet off. Okay. 30, 31 feet off the existing. Building. Was it gonna be like a walkway or is that gonna be like a drive-in? This driveway? will be a drive-in, and it, there'll be no slope. <coughs> it will be a drive down, so all the water is going to be uh, coming into the site and not. Uh, we'll keep the curb along the road so none of the road water goes in but this water right here it, it all goes down it won't flow out to the street and in between the buildings is that going to be like a walk or is that a drive driveway too this will be just grass area oh grass okay yeah that will all be grass mm -hmm. okay. yeah we're gonna have the uh set the system the system will uh for the uh for the septic system will flow into an existing system up here okay so it's just going to be added that Adding that one. Adding in that so it's yeah. like a small office with an apartment yeah, on top? Yeah, a small office with an apartment above, yeah. yeah. The uh, downtown district thing, they want the apartments above it. Yeah, facing out yeah. Yeah. towards the street, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I remember that. It's been a while. But Tim, you got anything? I do have a couple questions. Sure. Um, snow removal. Where do you plan oh, on putting have, that? We have a lot of snow removal right in here, okay. which is outside the 50. 
um, that would take care of everything for our parking space. And access to that shed area, um, how are you planning on? That has always been, we, have, we, put our, um, we put our conservation post in such a way that there's a grass area around the shed. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like that. a 10 foot access to yeah. the shed and then it's a four foot, just wide enough for a mower to get around the shed. Yeah. And the rest was just going to be left away. And the rest was yeah. just left away. So you don't intend on driving into that area? Oh, anymore? no. no. Okay. No. Well, I, I know no. he parks the pickup truck kind of in front of the yeah, shop right he, now. Well, he does. He, par he parks okay. his pickup truck like right in here. Right. And I just yeah, wasn't sure, sure if you were going to need an access way <laughs> over no. to the shed for equipment or a trailer no. or something. No. or no. Okay. He's, he, we're going to stay clear of that. All right. Or he should stay clear of that. Because <laughs> I just saw where that lot A little area is and I wasn't sure if you were yeah if you look at the if you look at the first sheet you can see exactly where the, the, the driveway is and sometimes Tom parks his car right on the side of the driveway right right I just yeah. didn't want another road cut permit having yeah. to go in to get an access to the shed if we could design it from the parking lot in no, if he no, needed to. No, we won't piece. take any vehicles to the, to the shed. It, it's actually it's like a lawn mower. It's just, it's just the lawn and do it to get this stuff Yeah, on. it's a right. lawn mower and, uh, yeah. and, uh, right. and uh, maybe a plow or something, but I don't think he's got a plow out no. there. He's got, I think he's got his plow down here uh, in this area. Mm -hmm. And are you going to need planning or zoning? Uh, I talked to Hugh early and he wants us to go back in front of them. Um, okay just as a courtesy to make sure that everything's okay. And Michael White will review the project as well. And okay. would, so at least you came in front of us, so. Yeah, I wanted to come in front of you first because so this this is, uh, it's either, you know, it's, a, it's the environmental aspect of everything that is the most important when it comes to permitting. Yeah. Um, you, you normally you get the conservation first and then everybody else falls in line. At this point, I have no other concerns. No, I, I don't. I do. If it was going before zoning, I would ask for continuance only because of what may or may not change. But if you've already talked to Hugh yeah. and nothing's changed from what was presented previously, it's only you think because I remember it from last time. Right. Especially the biggest thing I think was the shed area and all that stuff, keeping it the way it was. Right. So and it seems like that's the way it's it's been, and we can see it as we drive by. Yeah. Anybody else got anything? No. Mm. So I'll entertain a motion to <coughs> uh, close. That being uh. said, yeah, you close the hearing and issue a standard order of conditions would be my recommendation. So not continue then? Let's no, we don't. Yeah. Up. I wasn't so just, uh, yeah. all right, all sure right. what the planning or zoning okay. puzzle piece yeah. was going to well, be. And that what about if, um, what if they change their mind on the zoning thing? Well, it, it goes only before the planning board. The planning board? Yeah, it only goes, yeah, it would only be the planning board that, uh, right. and Hugh Hurley is the only one, that, well, I actually talked to Hugh. Uh, he wants me to come in and, sh and present the plan to the planning board, but in an informal type of. But they have to approve it though, right? I'm not sure. They just want to make sure nothing's changed. Right. They yeah, just want to compare it to the yeah. one they already approved because it's already yeah. previously yeah. been approved. Right. But because it's a new filing, you know. And I'm not. I, I'm not exactly 100 percent sure on that. But I'm 99 percent sure. Uh, if you guys wanted to continue it just to find out, uh, you could do that. Right. We. Um, but the way the conversation I had with you is, you know, maybe a member wants us to go in front of them formally. Once I get there, I don't know. So that's that could be up in the air. Yeah, I mean everything's fine over here, so yeah. And it, it, it's not gonna it's not gonna change. Yeah, it won't change anything uh, for, for the us. planning board. I'm not gonna change anything for the planning board. Um, if I do, I think Tom will just withdraw. And and if he does at that point has to come back, yeah. it would be a minor project change yeah, probably, and we can deal with that. Is a minor project change. Yeah. Okay. But th there's really nothing else we can change on there. Uh, we, we've got the 50 foot buffer to contend with. We're not going to change. Uh, and Hugh's biggest problem was, or biggest issue was, is it going to slope into the street? Mm -hmm. Now that I, t I let him know that it's sloping into the back, mm -hmm. he's happy with it. Because th there may be a sidewalk that goes in there at some point. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'll entertain a motion to close the hearing. Motion to close. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yep, so. Set. The issue is.
Thank you. Need a motion to issue standard order conditions. Well, uh, motion uh, entertain a motion to order a standard order of conditions. Don't make the motion. Second. All, All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, Thank Dave. You. Thank you, Dave. Yeah. One is <laughs> continue. One component park. And I received an email asking to continue that to our next meeting. Um, 53G has started the review. He just hasn't submitted anything yet for that. Anybody call in there or anything like that about nope. it? Nope. Nobody said anything? Nope. You guys been out there to that? I have not yeah. yet. I no. keep. I have. Yeah. Every time I think of it, I'm like in the middle of doing something. I've been out, out there at least a half a dozen times now actually with the rain that we've had walked the site all back and Tim knows it's I think we all think the biggest thing is that all that getting the leaves and leaves debris cleaned out of that area should do it yeah <coughs> so. All right. so I would like to go walk the area I've been away for a couple of weeks and I would like to go walk the area Right, put my sure, if you want, so you don't get for. picked off or something. I don't need you arrested or anything like that. Trespassing. Okay, so I'll just. So is that? Yeah, okay. Sorry. So then, the cleaning of all that debris is that DPW stuff? Is that Chris's deal or? Be well, to be honest with you, I think it's the homeowner. It's, pri it's, it's private, private property. property. Okay. But <coughs> I've talked to the DPW, and we're just waiting for the season to end so that they can get in there and clean it out when they've got time. They'll probably do it one more time, and then hopefully I was looking to see some of the neighbors mm -hmm. come back so we can find out or make sure they know not to put any more leaves in there, whoever's dumping them. Because they won't stop. keep coming out and to clean it. Right, because yeah. it's it's on private property, and yeah. we don't have an easement right. for the town to do it. Right, so. right. Okay, cool. Okay. I'd like to take a motion to continue. Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Next one is five. I guess you can do. We can do them both, right? Five eighty-six uh, Manley Street. Yeah, you can continue both of those. Nothing's moved forward. Um, I will give you the update. We meet Thursday um, with the current owner of the Manley Street site about another place he's looking to possibly move to, because he has a contract for the trailer storage, right. and I think that's why this hasn't closed mm -hmm. because he needs a place to move to once he sells sure. the property he's at. Right. So it's. What do they need another week? Or we don't know. I should know Thursday, hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so that meeting. they can move forward with it. Mm -hmm. okay. well, I'll entertain a motion to continue both five eighty six Manly Street. Two weeks till I guess next meeting. Next meeting, yeah. It's okay. I know pain to just I'll kick make, it down the can. I'll make the motion. Second. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 This one is 455 Walnut Street. Mm. Sale of 17 we acres. Have received an we received a letter. Um, it's under Chapter 61A land, so it's under farming. Um, and a butter has offered to purchase uh, about 17 acres, which is actually Angel's Gardens that we approved. Oh, really? The order conditions. Mm. Wants to buy some land next door so that he can expand his operation where he's at. So the People at 455 are carving off about 17 acres to sell to him. Some of it's wetlands, some of it's usable, but we have a right if we wish to make an offer on it. My recommendation would be to send a letter to the selectman stating that we do not wish to exercise the right of first refusal. So it doesn't really link to anything that we have no. an interest in. Um, when, they, when we get first right of refusal, does the town also have right of refusal? Do right, you know? the, the town as a whole gets first right of refusal, and they right. generally ask each department okay. that has an interest, is this something you want us to pursue? Because my first thought was this was another development, and if for everyone in town that says, oh, we can't build anymore, we'll buy it for $10 million or something. But here's the chance. If you want to right. slow it down, we've got to buy it. Right, exactly. But is, is it buildable like that, do you think? or? No, this one's landlocked. It's got a stream that flows through it. No I way. have a feeling that the new owner is probably going to flip it and put it right back into chapter land, would be my guess. Well, what does that mean? Angels, gardening, gardening angels. Yeah. Right. Just what is chapter land? Uh, 
chapter 61 has three different parts. There's farming, there's forestry, and there's recreation. And it gives you a tax break. If you have over five acres and you put it in there saying that you're not going to develop it, yeah. um, you take it out, you have to pay the rollback taxes. For Which is usually seven years. And that's a pretty good chunk that. of land, though. I mean, there's it nothing is. buildable in there that, you know, I mean. There's a very little upland. It's, is there? Okay. Yeah. But right. to get to it. And maybe if if Gardening Angels gets it, maybe they'll put up a shed or something like that. Or, oh, you know, that's, worse comes the yeah, worst, that's, that's fine. Right, yeah. I mean, it's kind of, if you remember the site, to the back and then south of it. Yes. There's some upland in there yep. that he could get access to use. Okay. Um, but Do you know what the price is? And it's. From his property, it's you could get there without having to cross a wetland area, so it might be usable for them to expand their operation onto. Do you know what the sale price is? I was just curious. did notice, and this isn't connected to this particular issue, but I was looking at a, a Google map, and to the right of that, there's a long driveway comes through the woods, and then, then it's sort of a cul-de-sac at the end with vehicles parked in there and all of that. Oh, that's is that Messina's development, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, I'm looking Off at all Ash these Street. trailers parked hip, hither and Ash yon in there, and Off I'm saying, West do we... Off Chestnut Street. Yeah. So there's a part oh, of on the other side. Yeah, there. there's oh, a part okay. on West Chestnut Street that actually is is West Bridgewater. It's this really weird thing, and he's been developing that for a few yeah, years. Right. I don't know there's what he's getting to. He's been over there forever. Is right. that also our purview a, or a West Meadow LLC development proposal that they came in before us? I don't know whether you remember with a hypothetical development that they were looking to do coming in off of the Brockton right. side. Right. That's right. Right, yeah. and that's. That's it. All yeah. of this parcel looks. But what's he got in the back there? Did you? you know, I don't know. I haven't. I've never been there. Gone quite in there. a ways before you get into. I've just seen yeah. it out front. You know, like Messina and whatever. But All right, that I hasn't gone anywhere I either. Well, so. I have more con questions here. Um, the right of refusal is that to the conservation commission? It's addressed to the town. Yeah. Um, and then the departments, generally the planning board, the conservation, open space. Um, get a copy of it and if we're interested in purchasing a piece then we go back to the selectman and say we would be interested in purchasing which is kind of how we've done a couple others that have come across some of them I can think of the South Street property when that went up for sale right and brought it to town meeting and it failed um, but depending on what we have in conservation funds or if we can fundraise we could, if we were interested yeah, in Yeah, those are the opportunities, you know, if you want to slow well, things down, but it costs money, so. Yeah, I have a question for us as a, commi as a committee. Do we have a long-term plan on the conservation lands we would like to purchase? We haven't, it's a thing that, if they come in front of us, right? Right, I mean, we haven't we set, have the open space plan, which the town is reviewing now, which we will get a section of it that we'll have to review and submit our comments to. Um, the last one we did, they did prioritize parcels that we thought were of interest that the town might want to preserve. Same thing again, we can list if we see parcels or areas in town that are worth preserving, putting it into the open space plan, which then makes us eligible for funding and grant money. So when this next round comes we can look at that things that were on the previous ones for example were the Howard farm that just went under APR um, the Anderson parcel CNC Reading the golf course all of those were on or in parts of the open space plan for preservation so it's 61 a though though that must come first Right. But other parts, say it's all upland, not even 61A. I guess we'd have to, the town planner would probably know yes. if something Well, the other thing that happens up. is you think 61A 
isn't necessarily farmland. It could be forestry. Yeah, okay. and that could be up. So if somebody right. was to take a large forestry parcel out, okay, the town at that point may want to say it's worth spending the half a million dollars yeah. to buy the land versus right. a development going in. That's right. Not a lot of pieces like that in West Springwater, no. unfortunately. No. But no. well, even if well, it's recreational, you could probably put in some trail areas or something like that if you want to right? mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, there is an inventory that the town Church does deals. have of chapter land. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Um, see, I want I I would like us to be more proactive in determining what lands that we feel need to be conserved as conserving our wetlands, and to submit to the open space people before they give us their plans. Yeah, but I mean, with the ones that are we wetlands, know when they're coming available, right? And then the wetlands, right? They, they have, have to if yeah. it's chapter land, they have to send us a letter when it goes under contract for sale and then there's a time limit I think it's 30 or 60 days we have to respond and act on it so yeah we can't do anything until that comes up for I sale. suppose you could approach an owner and say listen we want to buy your land I didn't mean that I mean, no, I, I I mean, know you mean. putting input into the open space people who are this these lands are gonna I, right so like the open space plan which is they're working on now um, the document we will have a chance and that's where we could prioritize parcels or just even a blanket statement that if it's chapter land it would be worth looking at to preserve or, or just so that once it's in there it's I think they're a 10-year cycle there are you on that on that I'm actually meeting with open space <laughs> first Thursday in February I think I'm on that committee I can't remember that's a CPC. CPC, okay. Um, but the open space, I will be attending them, and we will get a copy for that to review as a conservation commission. And the last time Kitty sent it all out, it's it's about two inches thick, the yeah. document. So it's pretty extensive. Um, but we'll we'll get a chance to put in there. Tracy, is that part of Tracy's focus too as a town yeah, planner? That's be part yeah. Of. yeah. That's good. Cool. All right. So more gets in there and that says we're interested, right? So we're not, right? You <coughs> send a letter that we're not interested uh, in this? No. Yeah, um, yeah. Right. So I'll entertain a motion to send a letter to the Board of Slockman saying that we're not interested in this property. I'll make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any, any opposed? And this one here, 307, 327 South Main Street. Right. We, I had you guys all run around and sign just before the holiday mm -hmm. a yep. um, certificate of compliance for the site, which was fully finished, which you did. We just need to ratify the fact that you approved signing that. And we found also after closing there was another file that even predated that one. Wow. That we didn't have copies of, but we found at the registry <laughs> the copies that we needed. Oh, uh, this one? So, right, so there were two DEP really? open files. Um, Is that because okay. they had a... And the, four six, the 461 was the one we knew about. The 271 goes even back further than that, which was open. Hmm. So okay. we, the new owner is willing to pay for the closing of both DEP files to clean them out. We just... What property is that? 307 South Main Street, as you head towards Bridgewater, if you look, you, originally there was a proposal to put um, mini self-storage in there. And if you look now, they've done their perk test and some test pits, so you can see where it's all cleared out kind of and flattened in that spot. It's just before, Just before the funeral parlor area, I believe. Oh, okay, okay. I'm thinking of Buncey's, but that's way back. So on this right here, it says the call for a vote. Who do you want to? You just need a motion to issue <coughs> certificate sure. of compliances for DEP file 328, 271, and 328, 461. So entertain a motion. DEP, DEP file of 
SC 328-0271 and 328-0461. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, and all we have next is signed documents. Other than that, we just have one bill for you guys to sign. And then certificate of compliance that we just approved. Things busy over there. I mean, you're busy, but new uh, new uh, applications. Or There's not much happening. Yeah. I mean, it's well it's quiet. <laughs> interest rates are not helping the situation. Yeah, I think. I mean, yeah. economy-wise, there's not much moving right now. And, and well, it yeah, I'm waiting for him to start up on the high off the highway there. Yeah, behind the shell. Oh, oh yeah. That's They're going to town on the one behind the Exxon station. Oh, yeah. Station so, so, so what's the, what's going in behind the mobile station? I want to hear what <laughs> everybody thinks oh. is going in because I'm just hearing a, all, a all kinds of stuff. Dry warehouse. Target. Target is no. <laughs> some other thing going in. Oh, I'm like, yeah. I'm just thinking to myself, somebody said something to me about. The rumors, yeah. It's yeah, just it's a warehouse. It's funny to <laughs> I'm just thinking. It's just, it's just, it's just a distribution center. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's all. Target. That's all we approved. You mean it's not going to be a Starbucks? What Starbucks? <laughs> yeah. Attached. So the Chick Fil A maybe going in there. Remember the pad? We do have a pad next to Market Basket, though. Remember the the pad to the right? That's yep. all buildable back over in there. <sighs> but the problem with that site is the access in and out has to go through the market basket lights. Yes. <coughs> and they don't want, depending on who goes in there, yeah. the amount of traffic oh, that yeah. would be created going in yeah. front of market basket. I thought so on, a, on what the new latest market basket, they've built Chemsford or something. They've got a whole new thing that they're attaching now. So that made me think of that. I don't know if it's a meat store or mm. oh. butcher or something. or something. Yeah, something like that. Mm. Somebody said something and just measured, messaged. They said, well, how can it be going to wetlands? And I said, well, I just messaged. Look at the meeting. Oh, come to the meeting and... Yeah, the rumors, are, un rumors are unbelievable. It's funny. It's funny. The nature of the turtle is protected. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't heard anything from, like, all the dirt bikers and everything that... Back there. That was probably sort of oh, illegal, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, anyway. So it is, you mean yeah, especially way? because it was so close to the well, right? That well and all that. Because they weren't out there picketing. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <coughs> any other business or any other? Anybody want to That's it. Discuss anything? Huh? Jason? No. Sure. I'm Are sure. <laughs> I'll be zooming next meeting. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make I'll a motion to adjourn. <laughs> adjourn. Second. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.